we're given the vector u is equal to two times unit vector i plus four times the unit vector j, and we're asked to find the magnitude of the vector. The magnitude of a vector is simply the length of the vector from the initial point to the terminal point. We indicate magnitude by using either vertical bars or double vertical bars as shown here below. So let's label the length of this vector the magnitude of vector u. Determining this length is the same as determining the length of a hypotenuse in a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem shown here below. It's just instead of c for the hypotenuse, we use the magnitude of the vector. And we can easily see this if we sketch the horizontal and vertical components of the given vector, where the x or horizontal component is positive two, and the vertical or y component is positive four. And here is the horizontal component, which is two, and here is the vertical component, which is four. Now looking at our formula below, we label the x component a and the y component b. So a is equal to two and b is equal to four. And now we can find the magnitude of vector u. The magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, which in our case is the square root of two squared plus four squared. Simplifying, we have the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of four plus 16, which gives us the square root of 20. Now sometimes you may be asked to express the magnitude in exact and simplified form. In that case, we would need to simplify the square root of 20. Other times you may just be asked to give the magnitude as a decimal approximation. And let's show both. The square root of 20 simplifies because 20 does contain the perfect square factor of four. 20 is equal to four times five. So we can say the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of 20, which is equal to the square root of four times the square root of five. And the square root of four is equal to two, and therefore the exact magnitude in simplified form is two square root of five. And now let's also get a decimal approximation to the hundredths or two decimal places on the calculator. To do this, we can enter either the square root of 20 or two square root of five. If we are rounding to two decimal places, because we have a two to the third decimal place, we round down to 4.47. I hope you found this helpful.